Hello everyone, Eric here from Beautiful Void Audio. And for this video, I just want to go through the sound set for Omnisphere 2.8 called Tapes from the Attic. And primarily it sounds taken from old uh, video and television programs and very lo-fi. Um, I use the Wayback Machine or archive.org to look for public domain videos and then I sampled them and for this set I primarily looked for like orchestral samples and so they make up the bulk of the sound sources and uh, patches you see here textures playable and we have all these orchestral textures in that um, main category we have adventure, atonal, dark, epic, soft, strange, and thoughtful. Um, so there's about 130 of those. And in total, there's 259 patches and about 220 sound sources. Um, so this is what the pitchy fairy tale orchestral texture sounds like. And what I did was added functions to the mod wheel. The majority of the sounds, if they're complex sounding, like, like this one sounds a little bit like a phrase. If they are complex like that to begin with, if you push the mod wheel up, it usually reduces it. So then you can play and there's less harmonic movement and complexity. And so presumably that would be more usable in like a, a wider range of projects. But this could be nice, the more complexity and movement be nice for adding some flourish to something um, but we also have a bunch of other instruments um, even just a single bell type of sound here and then we got some kind of quirky stuff even like these arps that kind of, kind of remind me of like Archie Band or something. And some timpani stabs. The mod wheel controls the filter cutoff of this one. And I really like some of these pads here. These deja vu pads, I really like these. sounds reminds me of like cigara or something push the mod wheel and the feedback pad is kind of interesting bizarre on that one but I, I, I enjoy it and then it's a lot of different things to play with here and a lot of times the mod wheel will just add more distortion and kind of lo-fi sound Interesting things, I think. So the uh, 
texture soundscapes. <laughs> There's a lot of other things you can do um, in Omnisphere. You got the each layer that you can go to. Most of the patches in the sound set have just one layer. Um, but then you can like, go into the granular engine and turn that on. Um, but if the sound doesn't last, it doesn't matter. So we gotta turn it Interesting stuff with that. Kind of turn any sound into a pad. And we got the effects section. You can do stuff with that. You can change these out with different effects. Something you can do, you can add ARPs. So a lot of tweakability in this um, Omnisphere instrument. Well, power synth, some people would call it. But yeah, so in these orchestral textures, which um, comprise most of the patches, the granule engine was used a lot. And for the most part, it's uh, going based on tempo, which makes the, a lot of times makes the phrase that it kind of creates not go faster if you're higher pitched or slower if you're lower pitched, um, generally. So that makes it more usable. And so, you know, if there's stretching of the sample and you're playing it really high, it's going to play it really fast. And so you... You know, you can only use it in a certain setting. But I think with this, um, using the granular engine and having it uh, tempo sync the the movement of the grains can help uh, make it more kind of uh, usable in more variety of uh, applications. This one's just a subtle change. It just adds a little bit of uh, kind of plucked instruments in there, plucked strings. So yeah, that's uh, tapes from the attic. Um, and I've put about 15 videos going through all of the patches um, and that will be in a playlist. So if you wanna hear all of the sounds, you can uh, take a look at that. Uh, but thank you for watching. Have a nice day.